Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today I had a mission. A mission that would have been very awesome for this video, but I failed. Well, what was my plan? <laughs> I wanted to buy a can of Surströming, the smelly salty fish from Sweden. Why did I want to buy it? First of all, a colleague of mine told me that he found it in the Ica Quantum, just basically where you can find all the cans for fish. So I thought like, oh, okay, Ica Quantum, I know where one is here. It is close to the Lidl where I sometimes go. Yeah, grocery shopping with my landlord. So I took the chance. And second of all, well, I have reached over 100 subscribers and I thought it would be an awesome video to try out the most famous dish in Sweden besides Schöttbula. But I was unsuccessful. I was in there, I looked through everything, I asked someone and they just said no. I think I maybe confused them because maybe they were also like thinking, who is asking for things like that? But I know people who like it, so now my plan is to either wait try again next weekend or I just ask that one person I know from work who likes it and tell him like if he has the chance buy me one and I will just pay you back because I really want to try it and I definitely want to make a video about it because you know you probably have seen a lot of people trying to eat it they throw up and things and I really don't know if I will suffer the same path as everyone else the Swedish way or the way the locals do it and um, of course they don't open the the can just outside and they smell it they open it underwater so that you don't have to smell and then you just eat the fish which is not supposed to be that nasty it is more the smell and combined with your with your ideas your thoughts that make this such a terrible experience so I also have a game plan already. I don't want to do it underwater because that would be cheating. But I want to open it, try to breathe as less as possible so that I don't really have too much smell that stops me from yeah, thinking, oh, delicious fish, so that I can have the taste before I have the smell. So, and then after I, if I make it that far and I eat it, I will smell it. So that is the, the plan. But unfortunately, not today. So, yeah. But what else did I do? Well, I had no time to eat the fish. I also would not do it inside. I would have probably yeah, just went somewhere in the forest and <laughs> eat it there. Well, instead of that, I have finally finished that one video that I was talking about already over the last weeks. The big thing that actually took the most time was just to collect all those video clips because this video consists of more than 13 or 14 different filming periods, drone footage days. And it was just, yeah, finding the right videos or finding the right clips, trying to, yeah, create a small little story that still keeps, yeah, opportunities to think about it in my, at least that's what I feel like. But I think I will publish this as a separate video, but it's coming out today. So maybe around eight. Besides that, well, I have a plan at least for some other thing. And that is trying a new vegetarian thing from the Oomph brand. They have some kind of, I don't know if it's supposed to be fried chicken, but it's some, it has some kind of crust on it. So I want to try. And I will therefore see you back after I've prepared everything right here. Guys, right now it is, I have a really, really cool moment. I, I can see a full rainbow on both sides and I can actually see one where it connects with the ground. It is so crazy. There you can see the one side going up there. And if we go in the kitchen where I'm currently making my food, you can see the other side. So you can basically see the whole circle. That is really cool. Oh God, my, my water. Whoops. Well, luckily I clean tomorrow anyways. It actually becomes a double rainbow right now. But on the other side, you can definitely see both rainbows. Wow, really, really cool. Just look at that. 
That is awesome. Okay guys, so now it's time to taste this food. It really, really smelled good when I put it in the pan. So now I am, yeah, interested how it's going to taste. It doesn't look like it is on the image, of course. So it doesn't really, yeah, looks like a lot. I also put sauce on it, but I grabbed a piece without too much sauce for right now. And yeah, so let's see how it tastes. It is a good type of vegetarian food. So it doesn't really taste like too much, but the consistency is good. And if you combine it with a lot of spices, like there is on this piece right now, it is good. So I would still say the kebab one is the best one, but I think that is the second place for the ones. And all the other ones that I tried were not as good. But I think the reason therefore was because they are the, the herbs they put on the other ones were just not my favorites. Okay, so with that said, it is now already time to say goodbye. I hope you had a wonderful day. Tomorrow we are going to be right back here to listen to the song from Latvia. But until then, have a good one. See you there. Bye bye.